Now, well, good morning, everybody. Cruise man, once again, getting ready to head home from my Sunday breakfast here at Wake. Had breakfast with Dawn. Nothing new about that. And, oh, let me get the sign for you. That's where we have breakfast most Sundays if I'm in town. So welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been out of town, actually out of the country. I was in Antarctica on a cruise. And uh, so time to get caught up. I've got a few things to uh, tell you about. Number one thing was that uh, Honda has picked up their blue 20, 2022 Goldwing from me they came and or they sent a trucking company to pick it up a few days ago so I no longer have it in my possession uh, I do have another video that I will be putting out soon where I'm going to show you the comparison of the trunk storage between my 2018 and the 2022 for those of you that might find that interesting uh, if you're new to the channel I just want to welcome you take a second to say welcome and uh, please if you like uh, if you're passionate about motorcycles and you like uh, motorcycle reviews and product reviews motor vlogs take a second to click that little subscribe button right down below and don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I come out with new videos and the reason selfishly for me anyway is I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 it's just a goal I have so uh, if you do subscribe I do appreciate it now my story today and my thumbnail for today centers around a friend of mine, Dale, who you may have seen in a couple of my videos. Uh, I know I installed a show chrome big bike parts backrest onto his 2018 Goldwing. Uh, maybe you saw that video. Well, that was Dale's motorcycle. And Dale is a, uh, a pretty hardcore motorcyclist. He's been riding for many, many years. And he is an MSF instructor. And I mean, this guy has ridden to Alaska. You know, he's, he's the real deal. He's not just a, you know, a schmo like me. So, he rides a 2018 Goldwing, and he recently had an experience that I think it's worth me telling you about, because when he told me the story, it was hard for me to even believe that a company would do this nowadays, but he, a few months ago, bought a pair, and, I, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm going to try to tell this story as accurately as I remember it. Uh, there may be some subtle differences in Dale if you're watching the video please feel free to put in the comments to clarify anything I get wrong but basically Dale purchased a a new set of gloves and I do not know the model name or number but they were made by Climb and some of you are familiar with Climb they're kind of a high-end expensive their products are expensive and they make uh, motorcycle gear and he bought a pair of these gloves and they're kind of really designed for adventure riders even though he rides a Goldwing he bought these gloves because he liked the design or the style or the fit or whatever and he bought them from a local retailer here in Dallas Fort Worth I'm not going to mention the name but basically, Dale comes in contact with a lot of 
motorcyclist because he is an MSF instructor and he does classes every week on you know motorcycle riding so this local store actually I think they give him some coupons to hand out to his uh, students so that if they're interested in buying a helmet or gloves or boots or whatever any kind of gear uh, they can go to this store I'm telling you that for a reason so Dale buys this set of climb gloves and I think the price on these gloves the retail price is like hundred and seventy or hundred eighty dollars not sure of the the exact number but they're expensive and I think he might have gotten a discount maybe he paid 150 for them which to me is still outrageously expensive for a pair of motorcycle gloves I've never spent that much for a pair of motorcycle gloves but he did and he rode his Goldwing with these gloves a few thousand miles and I think after three or four months a relatively short amount of time the stitching on the fingers or one of the fingers started to come undone started to pull loose and he went back to the store where he purchased the gloves and this was the first problem as much business as he does with this store and as much business as he's obviously sent to that store from his students they wouldn't just replace them and I thought that would be the first thing I thought they would just replace them and that they would deal with climb on getting the warranty replacement because these gloves are still under warranty okay but they said no there's nothing we can do you have to go to climb to get this dealt with well, that's the first problem is he shouldn't have even had to do that they should have taken care of it for him so now he contacts Klein and he sends them photos of the glove and I believe their first response was something to the effect of well that's just normal wear and tear and we don't cover that under our warranty and he's saying wait a minute <laughs> you know hey I just bought I've only had them four months four or five months whatever the time it wasn't long well within the warranty period and he's not even wearing them adventure riding he's just wearing them riding a gold wing so they said well send us pictures they he sent the pictures and bottom line nothing was going to get done they weren't offering to just replace the gloves now I can go ahead and tell you the rest of the story it sort of got resolved sort of he ended up having to send the gloves to climb so that they could look at it apparently they sat on a dock for a week nobody even opened the box so he had to call them back he then gets a call back from somebody that says it's normal wear and tear we don't cover it under warranty he's had to make several phone calls this has all taken a couple of months to get resolved and it turns out he finally ends up have, having to tell them hey I'm going to start going on websites and I'm going to start posting negative reviews because I'm not happy with the way you've handled this which I fully understand and that apparently got their attention and I think he actually did that I think he actually went on some websites and did some reviews and told the story and I'm telling you the story now so how good is that PR wise for climb all they had to do was replace the gloves under warranty and none of this would have happened and I'm only telling you the story because he's a friend of mine and because I just was kind of outraged at the way they handled this it would be one thing if it were a $20 pair of gloves but this is $150 to $170 for a pair of motorcycle gloves I mean which is an insane price in the first place and then they didn't cover it under warranty from a what you would think to be a reputable brand how stupid you know I've talked about it before that they have stupid people running these companies 
and they've hired stupid people. How stupid do you have to be in a company today with the internet and with social media to be able to screw up like this and not just take care of it? But they did, and it still happens. So for me, just that story alone, I will never buy a Climb product just because of that. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of you out there going to post comments. You love Climb. You've never had a problem with their products. I understand that. I'm sure that's true. Let me tell you a story, an experience that I had. I'm wearing an Olympia riding jacket. Olympia is out of business as far as I know right now. But I, I, this is my third Olympia Air Glide jacket. And I absolutely love it. The first Air Glide jacket I purchased, I bought it at Maxim Honda from Bob. Some of you all know who I'm talking about. He's no longer there, but uh, Bob was their parts or, you know, accessory guy. Great guy. And I washed it a couple of times. And I noticed that the reflective piping, the 3M reflective piping was starting to flake off. And in complete fairness and honesty, I probably did not wash them correctly according to the uh, owner, the instructions. I think you're only supposed to hand wash, and I probably washed them in a machine. But nevertheless, the, the, the reflective piping was flaking off and it was no longer reflective. I took it and showed it to Bob at Maxim and he said, contact Olympia and I think they'll take care of that for you I contacted Olympia I sent them an email I think I may have attached a photo and within a week I had a brand new Olympia air glide jacket show up at my house they didn't even want the old jacket back they just sent me a brand new replacement I think it was a $279 jacket, $289. Hell, not that much more than what he paid for the gloves, for what Dale paid for his gloves. And I have done nothing but, that, you know, those kind of things make an impression. And I have continued to wear Olympia jackets. I think I've bought maybe a total of five different jackets, three air glides from Olympia because I had a great experience. They took care of it. They didn't even question it. I have a pair of gloves that many of you have seen. They're not, I don't have them on. In fact, these are Olympia gloves. I bought these gloves from Olympia. But my warm weather riding gloves, I have a pair of white leather short riding gloves that I bought at Cycle Gear. I swear to God, I think I paid $29 for them. I bought those when I bought this motorcycle, so they're at least four years old. They haven't fallen apart. I've been wearing those for four years. I've worn them in rain, I've worn them in all kinds of weather, and they're still comfortable and they still work fine. $29. Not $179. So you can take this information and do with it what you will. But uh, for me personally, now I'm home now. For me personally, uh, Dale's experience, I would never buy anything from Climb. And I felt like it was my responsibility to tell you this story. Now, if you've had an experience similar, put in the comments down below. If you've had a good experience with a warranty replacement from Climb, put in the comments down below. And I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this information valuable. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help with YouTube. And I will see you on my next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. See you soon.